There are many women in the 19th century who become famous for taking off some or all of their clothes and performing in front of audiences. Lola Montez, Ada Isaacs Mencken, uh, Mata Hari, Maud Allen, the dance hall girls of the expansionist West in North America, uh, the chorus girls of the burlesque leg show that developed in the US in the 1860s. Um, the presence of these women in the cultural landscape of the 19th century raises compelling questions about um, the conditions that make it possible for them to make that career choice and how we read that career choice. Is it um, an act of feminist resistance to restrictive codes of gender behavior? Uh, is it um, a necessity in a context in which there are few ways for women to earn a living? Uh, is it uh, a form of artistic expression or is it all of the above? My project focuses on women working as what we would now call erotic dancers in the 19th century in the context of the British Empire. Um, it's concerned with questions of how we understand their performances of femininity, um, how we read their writings and the writings around them and about them, um, with the emergence of a practice and a business of what we would now call erotic dance. Um, and with the question of when and why it becomes worthwhile for women to take off their clothes and dance.